Hi, my name is Dyers from TSM, and this is my top five champions for solo queue. First up is Darius, the very infamous top laner that has a very, very, very high ban rate and is played in competitive play all around the world. Darius is a champion with such a ridiculous kit of damage. It all comes down to his passive and his resets. If you're melee laning against Darius, you're probably going to lose. And when he's level 6, you're probably going to get Tower Delve. Darius' only weakness is pl being uh, played against uh, ranged champions such as Nar or Vlad that kind of outscale him and try to kite him. But even then, he's just such a strong champion that he still like scales really well later into the game in terms of resets. You'll notice that there's a lot of pentakills at Worlds with Darius that's there for a reason because he's just such a strong champion um everything about him is just really annoying to play against and the only reason why he would be weak is if the enemy played properly or if he just fell behind next up on my top five is gangplank although not many people can play him to his full extent when he is played to his best he can literally one verse nine a team the reasoning for this is because his barrels are pretty long range and do an extreme amount of damage when he hits two to three items. If he hits a crit on any one of your squishies and then throws his ult down, they're already down to 30 to 40 percent unless you have a Lulu or Morgana or someone that can just block the damage and that's very very rare. Gangplank is the kind of champion where he's really hard to catch and his barrels and combos and his just ult is just way too overwhelming to deal with. Even when he's behind, he does an extreme amount of damage where his ult is basically even more valuable than a rumble ult, which is kind of ridiculous because he outscales most top laners, and when he's at full build, he just destroys everybody. Next up is Fiora. Fiora is the kind of champion where if she gets ahead of you, you basically have lost the game. In team fights, when Fiora ults one target and gets the reset and the heal, she's pretty much won the team fight. Similar to Darius, getting the reset is very, very crucial. And if you don't get the reset, it's not the end of the world because now Fiora has a, a counter move that can basically block any ability in the game. If you Malphite ult Fiora or any big ult used on Fiora and she presses W, instead of um, doing damage to her, she takes zero damage and she stuns you for the time and she wastes your ability. Although it doesn't negate the damage in terms of AoE, it only negates on Fiora. It's just a very strong ability that can be casted every 10 to 20 seconds depending on your CDR and level. Fiora is the kind of champion that once she gets two items, she pretty much out split pushes anyone in the game besides maybe Malphite at a certain amount of items. She can be snowballed on and she can be useless, but when she doesn't, she's just a one man army. Next up on the list is Riven. This champion's always been here and always will be. She's a ridiculous high mobility champion with tons of damage. She has three gap closers and one ability and one CC and one ability, which is her Q, where a gap closes three times and then on the third time it does an AoE knockup, which is kind of ridiculous. And then on top of that, she has an, a flat out CC, which is her W, and then another gap closer E that gives her a shield. On top of that, her E combined with any of her other abilities can be ca canceled out and casted faster. A good example is if you press ER, it'll be casted, EW, it'll be casted, and EQ will be casted extremely fast. Her ult is really, really game-breaking when used on a lot of low HP targets. Similar to Jinx ult, it can single-handedly change the fight depending on how Riven players play. And since her cooldowns are so low, she just feels like she's all over the place. Next up is Aurelia, a champion that's actually good against Riven and all of these champions in lane. Aurelia is a very staple top laner that just can basically lane against anyone and everyone because of her kit. If she ever gets ahead in the game, there's actually literally no counterplay for her 
when she flash E's on your squishy and goes all in because the amount of damage she does in tanks will be more than enough efficiency for uh, whatever happens in the game. Even when she's behind, her E has a two second stun at max level and can, you know, sometimes change the game. Her only weakness is when she can't really go in and she gets stuck playing the poke game. It's very rare when this happens, but when it doesn't, it really is very effective towards the game and has a very solid laning phase against all champions. Thanks for watching my top 5 solo queue champions. Make sure to check out the rest of my guides at lowclass.com. When the enemy goes for a last hit, it's important to abuse them. A good example is against range opponents, you start with Q and then you go E.